Hey everybody, this is Jay from South Texas RC and BRB Racing. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Tonight, I decided I'm just going to come out here, play around a little bit with the Outcast. So, nothing special, nothing great. Just maybe make a few jumps, a few passes out here. Just kind of a little bit of daylight left after work. So, hope you all enjoy. I'll probably turn this into a, I don't know, maybe another rant video. I don't know. Oh yeah, and by the way, guys, if you like the hat, this is an Alamo City Hobby Shop. This is here in San Antonio. This is their limited edition hat. So if you're digging the hat, guys, you can go over on Bandera Road here in San Antonio and get one of these from George. They're pretty cool. I tell you, I, I'm digging it. It's nice. It is nice. It is comfortable. It is not a cheap inferior hat either. So let's get out there and let's play. Sound good. Well, it looks like I did do a repair video. Broke something. I guess we gotta find out. All right, so hey everybody, here we go for round two with the Outcast. I did not make a repair video on this one. I just was not feeling it. But yes, the diff in the rear was completely stripped out. All the teeth were completely gone due to the simple fact that it was running steel pinions for steel transmission, or I should say differential cases. And those don't mesh up right. They're not the right length. So, catastrophic disaster. So, being this is a used truck, hopefully that is the last bug that I have to work out of it. Everything seems to be good and ready to go. I would put my jump ramp in the normal place, but whoever decided to park in front of my house, well, cool parking job, but hey, they're going to get a surprise. I get a couple of trash cans to deal with when they come back out. But anyway, so we're not going to jump ramp right there, but I hmm, wonder who could have done that with the trash cans. Oh, well, so we're going to set the jump ramp up over here. It's going to give me a smaller area, but hey, let's do this. Let's see if we break it again.
definitely smoother than it was. Need something with those front shocks still, I think, though, because you just want to nosedive. Not much room out here tonight. Everybody wants to park out here. Looks like I got it bug free. It's getting dark out though. I'm gonna end this video here pretty quick because it's it's getting too dark to record. Definitely want to do something different with the shocks. I already did. The ones I got from the local hobby store, he said they were good, but I have my doubts on those, so. Oh, here comes the car. Probably slow as them. Da, 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 da. There you have it guys, the Outcast is back and alive, and I'm running this as the 4S, but there's a big but of how I'm keeping it, you know, without having it just want to blow its wheels off, especially on speed pass, if you do um, full 100% on the receiver, or on the remote, however, it gets so violent you can flip it just unexpectedly, so I'm just running it at the 50% mark on the actual thing 75 yeah 75 percent on the back of the remote and of course that's not 75 percent power right there it's a lot more power from that i'm just kind of just jacking around with it but i'll show you all how it runs on 75 and then like i said i gotta run run this video to an end because it is getting dark getting too dark to see That's running it on the 75 uh, throttle right there, and it doesn't get squirrely and it doesn't backflip. But when you put it on 100, yeah, you can definitely flip this truck over. So if you want to keep your truck in one piece on these Outcast, I would say run them on run them on 75% when you run the 4S. It's a lot smoother.